Hello folks, my name is Mark Pinaris and today I'm going to show you our 2009 Infiniti G37X all-wheel drive sport coupe in liquid platinum with a graphite leather interior with just 38,593 miles. This vehicle is equipped with a premium and the navigation package and is a nice, nice value. Comes with a balance of the Infiniti 4-year 60,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty and the balance of the 6-year 70,000 mile powertrain warranty. Showing you right now the dual bi xenon headlights, both high and low beams are xenons. Those are the lights that burn brighter, giving you better visibility for driving at night on those dark New England roads. It's a passenger headlight showing you the front grille. There's the nice Infinity logo. Not seeing anything jumping out at me on the front of this vehicle. Not even so much as uh, many stone chips, which is to be expected on on a pre-owned vehicle. I'm going to pop the hood, show you what it looks like underneath the engine compartment. And you'll see the hood stays up on dual gas shocks, no prop rods to fiddle with. There's a separate firewall battery compartment and also a separate firewall for the vehicle's brake fluid. That keeps it from the extreme heat of the engine, helping reduce maintenance costs. There's your power steering fluid. You can see the fluid reservoir is transparent, so you can see what, where your power steering fluid's at. Washer fluid is the only level that you can't see. There is a light that illuminates on the dash, letting you know your washer fluid is low. There's one of the engine air filters. There's the other. It does have dual engine air filters, helping the vehicle breathe a little bit better, giving it better fuel economy, and that nice, sporty, throttly sound and feel. There's your radiator cap, your engine coolant reservoir, there's the engine oil dipstick, and the oil reservoir. Oil changes are recommended every three months or 3,750 miles. We recommend a tire rotation every other oil change, and once a year we recommend having the cabin air filter replaced, which keeps in the, the dust and pollen from entering the inside of the cabin of the vehicle, and both engine air filters. We can get you in and out in under a half an hour for any one of those services through our express service and you do not need an appointment for those services. Right now I'm showing you the driver's front tire and wheel. These are 18 inch tires and wheels. Substantial tread life left as you'll see here. Nice, nice vehicle. Matt Burrows, our used car manager, was driving this as his demo for, for a couple of days. Nice liquid platinum or what you and I would call silver. There's the intelligent key button on the front door handle. Here's what the key looks like. So long as you have the key in your purse, your pocket, your briefcase, you have the ability to touch one of the door pads on the front doors and lock or unlock your doors. Seeing a minor scratch on uh, right behind the door panel. I want to point that out. I don't want it to be a surprise when you arrive to the dealership to see the vehicle. Here's the driver's side rear alloy wheel. Tire tread depth here matches the front. These are hand cooked tires. Coming around to the back of the vehicle, you'll see the G37X on the right hand side. That's the displacement of the engine and the X signifies the all-wheel drive. There's that big Infiniti logo in the back. It does have a true dual exhaust as well with a shared catalytic converter. Again, helps the vehicle breathe a little bit better. Gives it that nice sporty throttly sound. There's this little silver button here. By pushing this, this does the same thing with the doors, except it'll release the trunk. And I'm gonna push that to show you the trunk space. Trunk is on gas shocks as well. And the nice thing about the coupes is the seats do fold, the seat does fold down. There's a latch right here, you just pull this. It is a, a shallower trunk than the sedan, but there is storage space. You can fit two golf, uh, two sets of golf clubs there, and it tells you how to place those in the trunk to accommodate both of those sets of golf clubs. There is also an emergency trunk release. You will not see a fixed mast antenna on this vehicle. The radio antenna is this vertical line on the rear glass. The antenna on the top is a satellite radio antenna. There's one of the Bose speakers, and there's the other one there. LED tail lamps on the G37 Coupe, giving better visibility to anyone that's driving behind you. They just burn a little bit brighter and longer, less need for replacement, helping reduce, again, maintenance costs. Fuel door on the G37 is on the passenger side. There is an arrow on the fuel gauge pointing to the passenger side as a nice friendly reminder so you don't pull up on the wrong side of the vehicle. 
Here's the 18 inch rear passenger tire and wheel. And if I can fit my hand in the tire well, showing you the substantial tread life left. And the former customer also had blind spot mirrors, uh, little blind spot mirrors on the mirrors as well. There's that touch button on the front passenger door again by pushing. It locks and unlocks. I don't know if you heard the clicking. Pushing once unlocks just the uh, one door. Twice unlocks all the doors. Both doors is not all because there's only two. Here's the passenger front alloy wheel and tire. And this is going to give you the best indication of tire tread depth. And you can see these tires look like they were just replaced as you can still see the nubs on the outsides of the tires. Not seeing anything on the hood of this vehicle or on the glass. Moonroof looks like it's fine as well. I'm going to open up the passenger door panel, show you what it looks like inside here. It's got the Shoto aluminum finish trim on the inside, nice chrome door handle, speaker up top, another Bose speaker down low, power door locks, power windows. They are Auto Express up and down for both windows. There's a bottle holder built in, power passenger seat. Nice comfortable seats with a nice wide backrest. The Infinity logo stitched right into the center of the back. And not seeing any staining on the seats. Just needs to be cleaned out once again. One of my favorite features about the coupes is gaining entry to the rear seat. All you do is flip this forward. That's up. There's a little button here. I'm going to hit this button and that's going to move the seat forward. As you can see there's plenty of space to get into the back. There are two seat belts in the back as it is only a four passenger vehicle so there are only seat belts in two positions in the back. They are three point seat belts. The center does have a cup holder built in and a hard coated plastic tray here. Dual mat pockets on the backs of both seats. This is behind the uh, front passenger seat. That's behind the front driver's seat. Then the ash cup there if you need it. Not seeing any staining on the headliner. Everything looks good. To put the seat back, I just hit this button again. Or there, and you can see it's manually retracting now, going all the way back by itself. When I get it on the driver's side, I'll show you another button that you can use to move the seat forward as well. Showing you what the vehicle looks like one more time from the front. See if I can get a couple different angles for you. Very sporty, seven speed, shiftable automatic. There's a driver's door panel. You have your power mirror switch, and then you toggle here, power door locks. This here disables the window controls for the passenger, your power windows, again that bottle holder. There's the dual memory seating position. This will control your driver's memory seat, your electronic height adjustable and telescoping steering wheel, and the outside heated power mirrors. In order to get the heat to work, you have to engage the rear defrost. You can also sync the seat, the steering wheel, and the outside mirrors to your Individual key fob will provide you with two when you take delivery of this vehicle plus all books and manuals and your sales consultant will go ahead and link the controls right to your key fob. So if there are two drivers of the vehicle, each time you come out to the vehicle with your key and hit the unlock button, it'll remember your settings and uh, go to those settings once the start stop button is depressed. VDC stands for vehicle dynamic control that works in conjunction with the traction control. There's a trunk release button. This here is the intelligent key port in the event that the battery in the vehicle in the uh, remote dies. Buttons face up, stick it in this port, push past the resistance. It will not recharge the battery, but it'll let the vehicle know that the battery is present and allow the vehicle to start. Here's the dash panel. And on the left hand side, far left, you have the temperature your tachometer just to the right of that in the center you have your information display and again 38,593 miles to the right you have your speedometer and your fuel gauge the buttons on the left if I hit these buttons here are my dash dimmer 
and you can see that it's adjusting the brightness of the dash. The buttons on the other side, if you look right in the center, are for my information display. Get outside temperature, set maintenance reminders, get average fuel economy, average speed, um, set maintenance reminders. There's a lot that you can do right through there. There's that start stop button in order to start and stop the vehicle so long as the key is inside the vehicle. All you have to do to start is depress the brake pedal and hit that button on the dash at the same time. That will start the vehicle. To shut it off, the vehicle does need to be in park and just depress the button. No brake pedal is needed. Your steering wheel is loaded with a bunch of controls. I'll start with the factory cruise control. You have an on off switch and then your cruise control settings. Right now nothing is illuminated on the center dash but once I hit the cruise on off button, cruise illuminates, that's right in the middle. I'm pushing it now making it blink so you can see it. Once cruise is illuminated, you get to your desired speed, push down on it by setting it, accelerate, decelerate, there's your cancel button. On the other side of the steering wheel you have radio control buttons. This will also uh, allow you to increase the volume. It's also used for um, obviously the different AM, FM radio presets. The back button is for your navigation. And then this here is for your Bluetooth. You can pair up to five Bluetooth enabled phones per vehicle. Or you can also uh, get into some of your comfort settings, including your navigation, voice activated navigation system. And I'll get back to that after. I'm gonna finish my presentation with showing you how easy it is to be able to manipulate the Infinity navigation system. Here's your information display. That's also where the backup camera will display. And I'm gonna go ahead and engage reverse right now to show you. And let me straighten my wheel. So you have different grid lines there. Red signifies about a foot and a half. Yellow is about three feet and green is about seven to 10. Steering wheel is completely straight. When it's off just a little bit, you see a, a yellow solid box. That is the directional steering. So as I turn the wheel to the right, that box goes to the right as well. I'm gonna take my foot off the brake so you can see how clear it is. And if you haven't noticed, that's the Infinity logo right there on the deck lid as well. So with some practice, you can get very, very good at this and back up right to where you need to. Very clear visibility. As soon as you engage it out of drive, that camera goes away. Now while we're on the shift, I'm going to show you how to go ahead and put it into the manual mode. So there's your standard drive mode, and that's signified by the D on the dash. Hit the gear shift selector over to the left. DS is, signal, is displayed. That means drive sport mode. It'll shift the gears a little bit more aggressively. From there, if you push up or down on the shift lever, that's how you manually shift your gears. So if I push up, you'll see manual one. It won't allow me to get out of manual one because I'm stationary, but if I pushed up and I was moving, that would let me go to second, pull back, that would put me down into first. It's nice to use when you're merging onto and off of a highway on or off ramp. Uh, but I find that the drive mode is, is just as easy to use and with the power that the Infinities come with, it should have no problems merging onto or off of the highway. There's your center display. Um, you can set maintenance reminders. We'll go over that with you at delivery. There's the Infinity analog signature clock, single disc CD player with the music box hard drive so you can store your music right onto the hard drive of the vehicle's uh, computer system. The older Infinities have a CF or a compact flash drive, so you can actually put a, a CF drive in there. You've got dual climate controls right now. Both temperatures are set to 66. If I push this button, this light illuminates, and you can see there's two separate settings. They can actually turn the dial and change the settings. And then when automatic is lit up, it will actually adjust the fan speed to pump in warm air on the passenger side and cooler air on the driver's side. There's your heated seat switches for the front passenger and driver. It's a turn dial. Snow mode button gives you extra traction in those snowy days. Got a nice cup holder there. There's your iPod connector. You can also stream, um, stream your audio via Bluetooth. Homelink Universal Transceiver with an auto dimming rear view mirror. That's signified by the green light. To turn that off and on, there's the off button right here. And to turn it back on, you hit that. There's your sunglass holder, tap lights, 
There's the moonroof with the manual retractable shade and it's one button operation. I can actually have the shade closed and still operate the moonroof and it'll pull the shade and the glass back at the same time. It's one button close as well. And it does have a venting feature by just pushing forward on the button. Now, as far as using the voice activated navigation, it may give me the option to do short commands. Um, if it does, I'm gonna cycle through the navigation, get you from our pre-owned center up to our new car showroom on Daniel Webster Highway. Again, your certified sales consultant will go over all of this stuff with you at delivery time, but I just wanna show you the simplicity of the voice activated navigation system as you do have full functionality of that on the fly while you're driving. You don't have to take your eyes off the road and it's very simple to use. So what I simply do is just hit this talk button. Would you like to access phone, navigation, information, or help? Navigation. Navigation. Please say pausing voice for navigation. Please say address, places, home, or previous destinations. Address. Destination street address. Short commands what are off. state, please? New Hampshire. New Hampshire. Please say the city name or push back button to correct state name. Nashua. Ashulot. Please say There's the street the back name. Button. New Hampshire. Please say the city name or push back button to correct state name. Nashua. Nashua. Please say the street name or push back button to correct city name. Daniel Webster Highway. Showing matching streets. Please say a number from the displayed list or say others. One. One. Daniel Webster Highway. What house number, please? Or push back button to correct street name. 105. Zero five. Da Daniel Webster Highway. What house number, please? Or push back button to correct street name. 105. 105. Daniel Webster Highway. Calculate route or show map. Or push back button to correct house number. Calculate route. Calculating route. Proceed to the highlighted route. And it usually goes a little bit smoother than that. This one did not have the short commands. I typically have better luck with the short commands. But again, folks, this has been our 2009 Infiniti G37 two-door coupe being offered by Infiniti of Nashville with just 38,593 miles. My name's Mark Pinars. I'm the Internet Sales Manager. Give me a call today. Thank you and have a great day.